Hello everybody, this is Sean, and in today's video, I'm going to be making some pickles. We've got some marinated mushroom pickles, in kind of an oil and vinegar mix. These things are absolutely delicious and perfect for parties. And then we've got a traditional mustard pickle that I've changed a little bit by adding in some curry powder. So stick with me, relax, find out how to make these pickles yourself. To get everything started, you're going to want to clean and quarter your mushrooms. It was one paper bag pretty much stuffed full and it worked out to four of these um, half liter jars packed when I measured them out. Uh, they do shrink when you're cooking them so I've got myself three jars set up here. I'm hoping that's going to be enough. And in each one I've put two pearl onions and some garlic, two cloves of garlic, and then two dried chilies torn in half. So. Our first step with these mushrooms is to acidify them because if you're going to be pickling mushrooms you have to realize the mushroom itself um, isn't acidic enough to be able to withstand pickling and staying good unless you get some acid in there. So for that we've got this boiling over here. It's two liters of water with a half a cup of lemon juice which was the amount of lemon juice that you get from two lemons. I also have exactly 45 mushrooms here if you're wondering. Get those in there. I'm going to give that a stir, set a timer for five minutes, and then I'm going to drain them out. I'm going to just jump to after they're drained, so it's on to the next step. After the mushrooms boiled for five minutes, they'd shrunk enough in volume that I was able to fit what was previously four jars worth of mushrooms into two jars. So I've set aside the extra jar I've prepared, and I'm going to use that for some other pickles later today. Um, for now, all these mushrooms have been acidified. So they're ready to pickle. You could just go with a standard pickling marinade in here at this point, but I like to make a special one when it comes to my mushrooms that involves olive oil. Um, so in order to give us a little bit more flavor, I've put a teaspoon of pickling spice, a teaspoon of oregano, and a teaspoon of basil into each one of these, as well as those onions and garlics and chili peppers that were in there before. And now I'm going to take some extra virgin olive oil and I'm going to mix it with vinegar and bring that to a boil. You need to have a ratio of one and a half cups of olive oil for two and a half cups of vinegar. Um, and then mix it well before you pour it in these because you're going to want it to have basically an even distribution. Um, I worked out the math so I'm going to use two cups of olive oil and three and a third cups of vinegar um, just so that I have enough to fill both of these jars. So I'm going to get that marinade started, and then I'll be back when it's hot. Okay, our vinegar marinade is now boiling rapidly, so I'm going to ladle that into these jars. You want to leave um, just a little bit of clearance because it's going to expand as you're canning and processing, um, which is why I have these down just underneath that rim level. Um, I'm going to do that quickly, but I'm not going to do that on camera because I only have so many hats. But I will show you these once they're filled up before I put them into my water and start processing them. And there you have it. We've got our marinade mixture in there, covering our mushrooms completely and going almost but not quite to the top of the jar. You've got a good, I don't know, three quarters of an inch there, a couple centimeters. So then we take our lids that have been pre-sanitized, top both of those. And once they're popped, of course, you take one of your rings that you don't need to sanitize and you tighten that down. And then after we've done that, these are going to go into the pot where they're going to boil covered for 25 minutes. Um, and after that, you will have some canned and processed mushrooms. So since this is the last step, I'm pretty excited. It's been a very small amount of work and we've almost got our pickled mushrooms. I think the worst part about this is going to be waiting six weeks before we eat them. Okay, one jar, ah, two jars, where's my tongs? Oh no, there they are. Pick this one up. And these are both ready to can. Set my timer for 25 minutes. Okay, it's been 25 minutes. 
So it's time to get these pickles out of the boiling water and then I'll show you what they look like before we move on to the next pickle. And there you go, our pickled mushrooms. Now, I'm going to show you how I make my curry mustard pickles. The next pickle we're going to be doing is a mixed vegetable pickle with a curry mustard sauce. It's based on a sweet mustard pickle, and I add curry powder as well. These are the jars that I'm going to be pickling everything in. I've got two cloves of garlic in each jar, as well as four pearl onions, one tablespoon of pickling spice, and then three jalapenos that I cut in half and sliced and then divided evenly between all of these jars. Um, in addition to this, I've got my vegetables and I'll meet you over there. These are all the vegetables that I've gotten ready for us to um, pickle up today. I've got half of a cauliflower. It was a really large cauliflower and I only have so many jars. Uh, we've got two carrots peeled and sliced and one red pepper cut into one inch squares then a whole bunch of cucumber just to bring it up to enough that I was able to measure it with a similar jar to the ones I'm using um, and to measure out the eight jars that I have. I think that was about two, 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 maybe eight cucumbers close to that. Um, the next step that I'm going to do is actually give these a little bit of a boil to release any extra moisture so that I'm not messing with my pickling um, mixture, which is just going to be boiling them or maybe about a minute, at most two minutes, um, in water where I've added about a half cup of pickling salt and just enough water to cover them. And from there, we'll be making our marinade, the mustard sauce that these go with. Um, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Pardon the background noise, we're making our supper at the same time. But our vegetables have now started boiling, so I can take these off the heat and strain them out. Once they're strained, we're ready to start working on the marinade and um, sauce that goes into this pickle. So, on with the show. There's our vegetables. They've been boiled and drained. Um, I let them cool a little bit too because I wanted to stop and have some dinner. And then over here, we've got the start of what's going to be the thick mustardy mixture that goes on top of them. We've got almost a half a cup of mustard powder. I've got a quarter cup of some curry powder, two tablespoons of turmeric, there's a cup of flour, and two cups of sugar. I'm going to mix this with a cup of vinegar until it's a smooth paste. That might take a little while. We don't want any lumps or anything in there. Once that's a smooth paste, then I'm going to mix that in with this vinegar that I have in the pot. There's four cups of vinegar in here um, that I'm going to bring up to a boil. I actually have the heat on already. It's just taking a little bit. Um, once I have my other paste mixture, I'm going to whisk it into this and then cook it for about three minutes until it's thick. So I'm going to start mixing this vinegar into our little mixture here. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, rapidly boiling vinegar, creamy mustard mixture. I'm gonna whisk these two together and I will be back with you in a moment. There we go, got all the mustard in there. We wanna make sure that it gets wixed and mixed up. Don't want anything really burning to the bottom on you. Give that a good stir. Lots of sugar and flour in there, so it will get thick on you. You're going to have to boil it for about three minutes until it reaches the optimum thickness for you to be using it for this recipe. You're just wanting this to come to a boil, get a little bit thick. You're cooking and setting the flour. And 
and you're going to mix this in with those vegetables. I think that is boiled enough that it's thickened up for us. So we're going to mix this in with our vegetables. And then they will be ready to put in those cans. Oh, that looks delicious. But there's so much vinegar in the air. That it's almost making me cry. Okay, I'm going to pause so that I can move over to the vegetables. Okay, we've got our vegetables already par-cooked. We have our mustard and curry sauce boiled and thickened. So you just pour one over the other. It's a bit lumpy on me because it cooked a bit badly. <laughs> so I'm going to avoid putting those lumps in there. <laughs> Whoa, vinegar straight in the face. <laughs> yup. This is pure vinegar straight to the face. Mix up all of our vegetables. And now we're ready to put our pickles in the jars. Got my jars here. We're going to fill them up hmm, most of the way. I'm going to have to clean the rims afterwards because this is a very sticky, sticky filling. <laughs> There you go, a couple inches of um, room at the top. Well, not a couple inches, a couple centimeters. If you have a funnel for canning, this is a lot easier. I suppose if you had a gas mask, this would also be easier. <laughs> because, oh my god, the vinegar fumes. Here are our pot getting ready for us to put these in it once they're uh, ready for canning as well. We're going to have to clear the jars off and clean them before we can put them in there. It's easy to do. We're just going to use a paper towel, wet it with a bit of vinegar. Got some of this liquid on my fingers and it is molten. That one might be too full. There we it go. smells good. Yeah, I know. It smells delicious. Cool. Okay. So I'm going to cut to when I have all of these filled, and I'll clean them off and get them ready for getting into the um, canning jar. See you guys in a bit. There we go. We've got our cans loaded. We had one less can of vegetables than I thought. They sh must have shrunk a bit while we were cooking them. Um, so we've taken the extra veg from those and distributed them from the others. And then we just wipe off along the side and the rim using a cloth with a bit of vinegar on it. This just sterilizes whatever it's touching, and it, it gets any of the goopiness off of there. Because you need a clean rim or the um, lids aren't going to actually stick. As you can see, we're getting a lot of stuff off of there. It's messy filling these, especially when you don't have a funnel. I used to have a canning funnel, but the more you move, the more things you lose. And I don't need it enough to remember to ever buy one. Okay, I'll rub this one as well. You might need to go through a couple of tissues to do this. I actually wiped these down beforehand, too, to make it a bit cleaner and faster for us. So once you're done this step, the next step is to go back to those lids that you sanitized earlier. I keep them in the pot of water so that they stay sanitary. As long as nothing's going in and out of there, then they're going to stay in that clean environment and you'll be fine. There's our final one. Get him done. Or her. Yes. Yes, it could be her. Okay, toss away that little tissue we had. Grab my tongs. Get the lids. Juggling for space today. Canning uses a lot of dishes. Okay. We just pop off our lids. Careful not to actually touch them with our hands, just using the clean tongs. Yeah. There's 
two in that stack was. There we go. Two of them left, I think. Ta-da! And there we go. I'm gonna tighten down the screw lids on these things, get them in the water. For the mushroom pickle, you actually only need to cook this for 10 minutes in the, um, while you're processing it, and then they'll be good to go. I've heard that they can stay good for a year or two if they're refrigerated or if you have a cool root cellar, but I'm pretty sure these just aren't even going to make it through the winter for us. Um, we are, are horrible when it comes to pickles and eat them very, very quickly. So that's that part there. And I will see you guys when I'm done the next step. It's going to be two batches of these through the canning, so that's going to take me a while. And there we have it. Our last batch of pickles is done. Take them out of the water. Get them over where the others are resting. I've made a mess of my kitchen today, but it was worth it. There you go. And there you have it. We've got our mustard curry pickles and our mushroom pickles and then a few with cucumber slices and spears that I made out of the leftover marinade from the mushroom pickles. It wasn't that hard. It did take longer than the video will probably be. Um, mostly an entire evening actually for us to get this many of them but we took a break in the middle for having dinner and it does take longer to do these when you're filming. If you enjoyed watching this I hope that you actually try to make your own pickles and comment below and let me know how it turned out um like subscribe share with your friends and take a look through my other videos anyway have yourself a great night goodbye